The Option Group feature is a feature or field that you can add to your form where you can go ahead and add a list of options. For example, I've got my clients here and I'd like to add a list of options of how they're going to pay for their order. Is it going to be by cash, COD, company charge, or credit card? So to go ahead and set this up, I'm going to come up here, right click in a blank area, go to the Design View, come up here on the Design tab to the Controls Group, click on the More button, and there it is over here, Option Group. Click on it. XYZ, come down here and you can see the little plus sign and the icon representative of what I just selected. Go ahead and click. It'll open up the wizard where it'll ask a bunch of questions. We give it answers based upon that. It'll give us our list of options. So the first thing it asks is what label do you want for each option? Well, like I said, I want cash as one. Hit the tab key, C.O.D. Hit the tab key, company. And then when I'm finished, I've got these four options here. I'm going to click Next. And then it says, do you want one option to be the default choice? Well, most of them want to pay via credit card, so we'll go ahead and select that and choose Next. And then it says, OK, what value do you want to assign to each option? Because what happens is, is that this value is representative of that option that will store in my table. In fact, in my table, I already have a field for these options that I created. And I'll show you that in just a second. But let's go ahead and continue. Click Next, and it says, what do you want to do with the value of a selected option? Do you want to store it in a field that I already have within a table? Or if I didn't create a field for it, I can just save the value for later use. So you can see here what I select here. If I have a field created for it in the uh, table, billing info table, it will store it there. So I'll go ahead and select it, click on the drop down arrow, and it's my payment. How are they going to pay? COD, cash, credit card, in any case, click Next. And what type of controls do you want in the option group? Do you want check boxes or option buttons? I mean, we can go check boxes if you like that. Um, toggle buttons, ooh, that's fancy. So if I select COD, then that's the one that's going to be highlighted. Let's go ahead and go with check boxes. And what style would you like to use? Etched, flat, uh, I'm okay, I'm not picky. Let's click next and then go ahead and name it, payment method. Click finish and there we go. You can see it displayed down below. Now let's go ahead and take it for a test drive and see what it looks like in the form view. Right click, go to form view. Now you'll notice that this is already checked. How come? Well, because it's looking at the values that are already stored for this uh, client in my billing info table. Let me double click and open it up. You see the uh, values here, one through four? If I didn't have them stored, let me come back to the uh, new customer form, you wouldn't have anything selected here. But I can go ahead and change it. And notice how when it comes to the option group, I can't check two or more. It's either one or another or another or the other. Let me go ahead and you can see the pencil mark hit the escape key so I can escape out from saving that. And let me go ahead and look at star temps by going to the billing info table, which is by the way, it's the uh, customer ID 31201. There's 31201. If I come in here and I delete that, shift enter to save it, I come back here. You see how nothing's checked? That way if I just created the field but I haven't entered or checked any values there, then obviously nothing's going to be checked. So if I go ahead, and it used to be uh, the option four, if I go ahead and check cash, and then save the record by advancing to another um, record, go back to my billing info table, and there it is, it stored the value, one. Because one represents cash, and then go back here to COD, company charge is three, and credit card is four. And then with those values stored in the uh, table there, if I go ahead and base a query upon it, or actually the new customer form is based upon the uh, new customer query, which is based upon the billing info table and the customer. But in any case, within the query, with those values there, I can go ahead and say, okay, here's their criteria. I want to find out how many are set up to pay by cash. And then just go ahead and choose the criteria one. All those customers that have one tied to it, representative of the payment method cash, will pull up. You can see as I scroll through the rest, some of them are company charge and others are, well, COD credit card. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.